Hello everybody, my name is Kitamo. Welcome back for another video of Humankind. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, we continued our war effort against uh, these guys right here. I, I still can't remember the Arapa. I think that's their name. Uh, we continued our war effort. We managed to uh, ransack one of, or plunder one of their uh, outposts and stuff like that. We're doing currently doing it for the other one for another three turns. Uh, once it's done, hopefully our people are going to give us a little bit more war support because we're losing a lot of war support right now. We're almost done with the lumber yard things. We got our um, palisades done over here. So we got walls for our city. So we're protected. But I don't think they were even, they will ever even uh, ha attempt to even come to our territories. You know, we're just going to uh, need to uh, go in there ourselves. So let's see if they're going to attack us. The one thing that is uh, scary to me is that uh, those four armies right there otherwise nothing too scary it looks like this is going to be an easy way uh, an easy win by uh, us like let's just uh, so let's just auto resolve there we go easy win for us we did lose one of our units right here we lost one of them but that's okay we gained tw uh, 10 gold for that so that is fantastic that's a 10 gold win right there uh that's really good we got to continue to ransack this it's going to take another two turns uh, they tried to get us out of there, but that's not going to happen. So uh, we are obviously, obviously we're going to march in into that city, boys. So we're marching in. Defend the flag. Uh, we're going to do a manual battle. Why not? So we're going to do a manual battle. We are going to... Uh, oh, there's four units in there? Holy shit, there's a lot. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put them... I'm going to actually put them right there. All right, so end the deployment. This is going to be hard battle right there. So they've got four units. Fortification can be breached by certain special units that are listed as being able to attack a fortification. Okay, so they do they have walls? They might have walls, boys. This is not good. I'm going to go here. I'm going to attack one of their units per time, boys. So uh, at a time. One of their units at a time. Do they have an actual warrior unit right here? Oh, yeah, they're protected by fortification right here. This, this is not going to be good. Yeah, this is not going to be good, boys. I'm gonna retreat. I'm gonna head back towards there. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna let it go like that. There we go. I don't think I'm gonna be able to attack them, right? Yeah, they're well protected. They're well protected either way. I can't attack them. They're well fortified. Yeah. I wouldn't need archers for this. Uh, this is the kind of battle that I need archers. Yeah, I can't I can't talk to them. I can't convince them to do anything. So I'm gonna end the turn really quick, boys. Because I got nothing going on right now. I can't do the battle. So there we go. It's automatic battle. It looks like right now. I still don't know what's going on over here. I still like the war is still going on. We got another turn for this. I, I, I guess if we go uh, all the way into my actual uh, city uh, aging. We uh, need. We are done with the lumber yard. So we can start maybe working on another unit. Or maybe we can work on one of those things, you know, that would be great. But I think I'm going to work on uh, on an archer. It's going to take only four turns. So I definitely want to work on uh, on an archer for sure. It's going to take me about 600 gold to be that for it to be completed. But it's going to take uh, four turns. So definitely want to uh, want to get the archer. That's uh, that's a must right there. And uh, the other thing is attached. I need so much. So much points to attach. It's unbelievable. All right. Well, over here, let's just go ahead and keep influencing these people right here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open the battle right here. What do we do here? So now we, we just healed up, I guess, because we ended the turn a little bit. Can we attack them now? I'm going to continue to attack them. Boom. There we go. Just dominate them overall over time, boys. We're just going to continue to attack. We're going to go here and uh, we're going to chill for a bit. It's really an overtime battle right now. We're killing time, trying to bring them down as much as possible. It's a lot of units right here. So defend, hold position this round. This unit will not move. Yeah, I'm going to hold position. I'm going to hold position. There we go. So abandon. So siege. All right, so we're sieging them right now. So... Defend, retreat, instant resolution, uh, manual. So I want to, uh, want to do a manual battle again. Am I supposed to do something right here? Let me put them back right here. So uh, end the deployment. 
There we go. We're gonna try and siege them as much as possible for a long time. Now, they're, they're gonna attack me. That's fine, I guess. Uh, they're probably gonna end up killing me, to be honest. They've got so many forces. Yeah, I wanna draw them out. I wanna draw them out as much as possible right here. So, yeah, I managed to do that. Now, are they gonna attack me or what's going on here? Oh, they are gonna attack me. So, okay. So, now I managed to draw them out. Which is a good thing. If I stay put right here, can I heal myself up? I can probably heal myself up. That's gonna be pretty bad though. If I do this... Yeah, I'm probably gonna die. I'm gonna attack. I'm, I will attack them. Try and deal as much damage to them as possible while I can. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty much dead at this point. This is pretty much over. So they killed me. There was really not a lot I could have done right there. There's not a whole lot, boys. I tried my best, but they've got over four units. They they have a really strong military opposition against me. I really can't do shit. I'm kind of stuck, to be honest. It's kind of frustrating. It really is. It really is frustrating. War resolution. Oh, the only thing I can do is literally abandon right now. This is not a good thing, boys. They do have minus war support right here because uh, they did have a recent loss. Yeah, they did lose something recently. I'm not sure how that goes. I don't. I'm not sure how that war support actually works, boys. Ransack successful, really good thing. So we ransacked another one of the, uh, their outposts, which is fantastic. That's really good news right there for us. That's fantastic news. Uh, we got another three turns for the archer to come by. What we're gonna do with him is, yes, they're using one of my military uh, or monetary dudes to do that. So that's uh, exactly what I wanted. We're almost there in terms of money as well to quickly purchase it. So that's even better. So uh, we're good on that part. What do we want right here? I guess I'm just gonna keep influencing them as much as possible. Uh, we got nothing else. So for this unit right here, I think I need to heal him up as much as possible, right? We could probably create an outpost, to be honest. I don't have enough points, I think, though, right? I would need 80 points of influence, yeah. So, uh, for that, I guess I really can't do anything else. Uh, Researches-wise, they're way too strong, so we're gonna redeploy ourselves right here. We're gonna head back real quick. Strategic, uh, strategic rep uh Retreat, boys, just to retreat and get uh, ourselves together once again. Uh, heal ourselves up because we really need to chill for now. And um, we're going to see really quick. So what did I do anything for us or what's going on here? I can't do anything with them. The only thing I can do is surrender. I'm not going to surrender, boys. That's not going to happen. What about these guys? Can I convince them to attack or something? I, I don't think I can, but... Maybe we can convince them to give ourselves a union or something. Maybe a cultural agreement as well would be great. So let's try cultural agreement really quick. They're going to refuse. I got a new grievance against them because of that. Let's see if they're going to uh, the, accept my demand right here. So they refused. Okay, so they refused. I'm going to withdraw, I guess. I'm going to just withdraw that demand. That's fine, boys. And uh, right now, I guess we just got to keep it moving. We got another populace. Another population right here that uh, just appeared out of, out of nowhere, boys. So we can nearly influence them as well. Start influencing them would be great. So they have uh, authoritarian guys, but uh, uh, we can still work things out with them, I guess. All right, so we're in turn 87. We're just past the next turn, boys. We do have a population right here or a thing, a bonus uh, thing. So there we go. We, got, we gained a volunteer right there. That is fantastic. We're going to move him in together. So we got a fresh volunteer just like that. And we really need to move these guys together right there. So we can heal up my armies as much as possible. We're going to get uh, my archers in two turns. We can quickly purchase him right away. So that's what I'm going to do. Quickly purchase him, boys. So there we go. We've got my archer. He's going to be joining in. Uh, he's going to help out a lot with the fortification and stuff. So we're gonna, uh, we have him now. So now what we want to do is three in three terms we're gonna have another populist guy, another population. We want to start working on these things. We really want to start working on the food, boys, food production and all, but also on the market. So I think I'm gonna go for the food first. 
So I got a food production. They're telling me to go over here or maybe over here. So which one would be the best option? As you can see right here, uh, there's a lot of things right here. It seems like this might be a best option. Uh, we've got a plus four food over here would give us plus six of food though. Minus one of uh, production, but I think that's the best option right here. So they're telling me to go there. So I'm going to go there. We're going to build a uh, food production right there. That's going to be perfect. It's going to give us more food. So more population gaining, which is exactly what we want right now. And uh, for the rest, it seems like we're fine. I'm going to keep influencing uh, these people right here. All right, let's keep it moving, boys. Another, we still have 28 turns to go for this. The irrigation to be completed as well so we're, uh, the next turn already yep so let's keep it uh, let's keep it going a little bit I, I'm just gonna go right here I guess I'm gonna go right here and we are gonna heal up my units as much as possible boys so heal up my units and for you you're just gonna go by with them you're gonna join them big time we're gonna have uh, the strongest army I can possibly get right here you know you gotta get some archers as well so they can do a lot of damage and stuff. They really need to heal yourself up and stuff. So yeah, I need to heal these guys off. Disbending a, a, a unit. So I can dispend some unit, I guess. But I'm not going to do that. So that's pretty much it. I don't really have anything else going on. We got six uh, turns remaining. For this one, I really want to join it uh, with the other one. Because it's getting a lot of production and food. Extra food. So it would be very fun for it you can actually get an arbor from it as well but it would be fun to you know build it up together but in order for do for us to do that we would need a lot of influence which i i don't have right now so i guess we just gotta wait things out i guess we just gotta keep waiting until we got enough so let's keep influencing these guys over they're getting influenced by three different people right here it looks like uh, they might have the other empire on their side, though. The, uh, the Arapans are influencing them very uh, quickly. I, I don't like that at all, boys. So we're in the next one again. Another population gain. So we gained a population just from that. And that was actually in my outpost. Uh, it's not even in, uh, in my city right here. Yeah, I think it's a population that's actually, yeah, he lives in here. So he lives in that outpost, which is fantastic for us. But what's he going to do there, you know? Uh, 700 gold still for remaining for us to do that. We've got another turn and we're going to have an extra population for our actual city. Uh, we've got our archers. We just got to keep them uh, moving really quick. So he's going to move all the way there. Archers can move far further than the other ones, it looks like. We're going to keep healing up. Yeah, I, I, I want to keep healing up right here. Uh, with these guys we do have uh, some sort of event right here let's see what it is so the walk-in wounded during the recent brutal battle many soldiers sustained horrific life-changing injuries before returning to uh, the city for some their whole character has changed become aggressive demented or unable to uh, bear others presence Others suffer physical wounds some forced to use cur uh, crutches or carts to move around among the citizens, fear mixed with, uh, mixes with the admir admiration as they spy them on the streets. Your lead will be, the, uh, be vital. How do you welcome your crippled soldiers? Uh, glorify them or exploit them? So patriotic, these brave soldiers might not fight again, but we, they can still be useful tools by setting a military feeling. Or celebrate uh, them, boys. So these men and women are heroes. We need to celebrate them. That would give us plus 10 stability. That would give us industry cost. I'm going to go and glorify them. I'm going to glorify them, boys, for sure. So there we go. We're glorifying them, which uh, is giving us even more influence per turn. I guess it's giving us some good stuff. So stability I, it's not really a thing that I need, right? But uh, I'm still going to keep going for it anyways. You know, it's, a good, it's always a good thing to have stability. In your city extra stability so that is done if we interact with them we only have 11 of war support right now it's unbelievable that we're we have so low of war support we are literally losing the war right now i don't like that i gotta really show my populace that 
I can win this war, you know, it's a, it's a thing that I can do, you know, it's possible. So treaties, let's try and get, uh, or oh, we can't get any treaties yet done. Horses, can you get, give me horses? Don't think it's possible either, boys, so we really don't have anything. I guess, uh, I guess it's fine. I guess we're just going to keep um, skipping turns. We got an extra population. Create your religion. All right. So found your religion. Be, pick the base of your people's beliefs. So we got a, our first religion, boys. We got to choose. Polytheism or shamanism. So plus one faith per population or plus one faith per number of attached uh, uh, territories. I'm going to say per population is much better. I think uh, per population would be the best option right here. So we've got our first, uh, we got our faith boys. We actually are, have our faith, which is fantastic. We're going to combine these guys together. So we're going to have four divisions, all four divisions together. We're going to finish healing them up uh, uh, until we uh, are good. We got four more turns remaining for this. We can now build holy sites, which would give us plus 20 faith. Uh, plus 20 of stability and plus 2 stability on districts. For that though, we got an extra population, right? It is giving us industry right now, but what if we were to put it right there? There would be in 7 turns, we would have another one. So yeah, I want to do that. I want to do that. I want to put it in the food production so just uh, we get another population quicker uh, with that. So we're going to do that for sure. Uh, I think I don't have anything else that I can do so we can just keep it moving again so if we look really quick though before uh, going for the next turn if we look into the religion tab we've got the zoo shamanism which is us basically holy site for our empire we don't have any holy sites yet but this is our conversion right now as you can see so uh, we're at 67% pretty much everywhere 65% over here so 75% uh, I, I, I should say so that's really good go to tenant screen so change the state religion. I don't want to do that. Do I want to keep going right here? I guess that's good. That's good enough. The connections. What about uh, tenant screen? Uh, what what does that mean exactly? So what is that exactly? Is that like bonus points? So that's the tier of religion. We got some sort of tier boys. And uh, with that, these points, if we have enough faith, I imagine we can build... Uh, we gain points enough for to for us to get uh, extra resources and stuff. That's that's kind of good. That's cool. So it gives us a a, a reason to as to why we would want to have that. We would want to have faith. So that's a really good thing. Let me continue to build my influence, I guess, over these guys, and uh, let's skip another turn. All right. So on turn ninety-one, boys, Nubians ended the treaty. So they downgraded your treaty scientific agreement to share vision okay so uh, they got rid of the shared vision that is not really a good thing i'm not gonna lie not really a good thing we i think we're almost healed up one more turn and we should be completely healed up i think we are still regrouping a little bit right here and over here it's another three turns for us to be complete with the food uh stuff uh, once that is done, we're, we should be doing very good. We've got an event right here going on. The Keepers of the Creed. An unexpected rivalry has erupted between two temples in our city. Each representing a different uh, uh, sect of zoo shamanism. One people argues that religious matters should be left in the hands of, the, of this passionate man. While the others content, contends that only women... Were uh, with their capacity for murdering life, possess the na necessary uh, understanding for their affairs. These quarrels must stop before your inhabitants start fighting each other. Who should be your religion? Uh, your religion leaders. So the man, the woman, or, or all. Any, any can lead a religion as uh, uh, neither men nor women are privileged over the other by the gods of nature. Yeah, I'm going that place, boys. Anybody can be our. Um, our, our leader, I guess. That doesn't matter to me. So I still want to get another city eventually here. It's going to be hard to do though, right? I think my army is, is still healing up. So once my army is healing up, I might move them out north and see if they can create an outpost. Like, how is that possible exactly? How do you know you can create a city or claim a territory? Can I actually, like, 
change that up into a city or something? A vault upload into a city would cost me 320 of uh, of that. Okay, that's what's going on. So we also have the Nubians uh, over here. It looks like we got a possibility we can trade again. Uh, we uh, we can uh, get a, a, a another chair fit right here. They got rid of it. Maybe uh, we should probably get that exact same, same amount of money. Is it that, buddy? Come on. Refused? Why not? I don't know why they're refusing everything. Uh, it's so frustrating. The, uh, the men. And they yielded. All right. There we go. So they yielded. So we've got a custom union now. So with this custom union, which is very good indeed, it allows us... So the buyer is acquitted... For any non-essential fees when accessing this empire resources, the seller still gains the same amount of money. So, we are going to gain the same amount of money each. So that's that's really good. We should definitely do that, buddy. That's a, that's a really good deal right there. Really good deal for us. So, uh, that is done. We can now skip to the next turn once again. We're skipping turns quite a lot. Uh, we got to keep uh, a reminder that 300 turns is the maximum we can go at, I believe. Or maybe it's 600 turns, I'm not sure. Everybody's healed up now, so I can finally move them. So uh, we're ready to move them into the war effort once again. Move them back, and uh, we've got now uh, two warrior units, an archer, and a scout. The scout's not going to be able to do too much, but with my two warrior units and my, scout, uh, my archer, I, I am hoping that I can do a lot more with my war effort. Uh, still another two turns for my... Food thing to be done. Five turns for another populace. So uh, we're doing all right, I guess. We're doing all right. We're slow bu slowly building our city. Over here, we got a population, but I'm not sure what to do with it. Not sure how that's uh, how that works exactly. So uh, I think I'm going to stop influencing the other uh, independent cities at this point. I'm just going to keep my influence because uh, we're going to need my influence over time for sure. We're definitely going to need it. All right, so we're in the next turn. Unfortunately, I have this going on right here. This is not a good thing. The Arapans forced you to surrender. So you people, your people gave up the fight and you were forced to surrender. You gave, you gave in 460 of reparations. Holy shit. So we gave them that much money, boys. We're the minuses. We're literally in debt right now. So we're not at war with them anymore. So we're at peace with them, I guess. That is not a good thing. Uh, we literally got humiliated. I guess my people got sick of the war. And they forced me to surrender because of that. That's, uh, that's pretty bad. That's really bad indeed. Uh, I'm going to do... I'm going to do all trade luxuries and stuff like that. They don't want that. They refused their treaty. Uh, can I... If I demand it... I'm gonna withdraw it. Okay, whatever. They don't want to deal with me right now, I guess. Uh, that's fine. So if I'm not at war with them anymore, what do I do with my units? I'm guessing I can just build some... Uh, or like... I can go back here, head back here, and... Just get rid of a bunch of lumber mills. I guess I can do that, right? So we're gonna do that, I guess. Four turns, yes. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna keep my army together, but we're gonna just keep... Getting rid of a bunch of trees that's going to upgrade our production across the city and stuff like that. I guess that's what we need to do. With our extra population, uh, we are now gaining... Well, in four turns, we're going to gain another one right here. And we have in the next turn, we're done with the farmer's quarters, which is going to help us out with the food even further, boys. I need to figure out a way now to really get me, myself out of this whole money problem. It is a big problem. Uh, we got uh, two new stars available for us that we need to do. So have 12 population and or units within your current empire. So I have 10 out of 12 units in total slash population. So uh, they count everything together basically. So uh, we're getting close. We just need two more. Reach a total of a thousand, uh, uh, 12,000 influence. I all currently have... 870 of influence somehow i am the third best empire right now because i only have one star but i got plenty of points from that uh but the other two ones the one of has two stars the other one has three stars that's the arapans obviously they won the war against us so 
they obviously are going to do very well for the uh, for themselves uh bankruptcy you have no more no money your st uh, city are losing stability okay so my city is going to lose stability every time uh every turn i have because i have no currency that's really bad boys that is a uh, really bad indeed did we just gain some food from that or what's going on because our farm just we just created the farm right so i'm not sure let me just create stone rings that's going to take a while where, where can i build those things i'm not i'm not sure where i would be able to build those things to be honest uh, most of these are giving me food and stuff i want to get it to a place where it's not getting uh, getting rid of my uh, food and stuff uh, i need to choose a place where it's production maybe or maybe just a place where it's one food so i'm gonna put it right there i guess there we go so we put it right there in 19 turns it's gonna be completed one city is participating in its construction city with select which one of your cities will dedicate your production to its completion so uh we got that we're working on that right now i guess the stone rings i guess that's what we want to work on uh we the next thing is still we're still working on this it's going to take another three turns for that and that's pretty much it we don't have anything else boys we just gotta keep it going i guess we're bankrupt as hell and our stability is gonna keep going down just really not a good thing right now really not but in two turns we're gonna have an extra population which i might do for industry I might put them into industry and stuff i'm not too sure what i'm gonna do with them uh we've got uh this guy still we've got to, we need 320 to create it as a city or attach it we need like literally 368 as well to attach it it's quite a lot boys that's quite a lot another two turns for us to be completed for that uh, i want to see if we can get any treaties done with these guys so maybe uh i don't know shared maps come on uh shared maps you know open borders come on now you you're really gonna do this to me you're really gonna refuse come on now demand oh redraw all right so i'm gonna redraw the demands god damn it they really don't want to deal with me it's unbelievable what about these guys do they want to do anything with me i mean we have the custom union scientific research or influence come on influence surely hey, refuse friend. everybody's refusing i don't like i don't know how the alliance thing works exactly in this in this game but it seems to not be working too much it's not it seems to not be working too well boys i don't know why why that is the case they're friendly to me but for some reason they i don't know they just don't like uh, certain things i don't know i, I don't know how, that, how it works exactly just don't like my face or something. They don't want to do anything. So Aojin converted to a new religion. The people Aojin converted to zoo shamanism. Really good. So you can see right here. We have fully converted almost. We are almost there in terms of all the conversion. 95% across the board. 94 and 90. So our, uh, we are converting very fast to that religion. Which is always a good thing boys. We got 16 turns remaining for the stone rings to be completed so that's just a shared project i guess gotta keep uh working on it we got uh, how much turns one more turn for the next population to uh, come um, come by and uh, one more turn for this to be completed right here the uh the wood thing so let's do that let's go to the next turn there we go so we did that and that should have given uh, an extra production extra production to our industry i think it did We've got our extra uh, people for the population now. So if we put it right here, it's going to give us 17 of uh, money, which is definitely something we want. If we put it there, it's more science. If we put it here, it's just going to only help, right? I want to put it with the money because we really need to gain money fast, boys. It's We're not doing well right now. We're really not doing good at all. We really need to start focusing on that. I could literally with my 100, 100 points of influence. I could literally uh, build an arbor right here. Over here. And that would give us more money. 
but um, I don't really want to do that. I want to get an actual city, you know, I want to get a second city and stuff. So, so it looks like um, they they just don't want to be allied with me. It, it's understandable after I tried to attack them and I lost. I mean, they beat me up big time. So it's understandable that they wouldn't want to to do anything with me. Very un understandable, I guess. So I'm going to leave it for today, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Keep it easy.